All right, welcome to Northern Tesla and Snowmageddon. We'll get started right off the bat. So we got quite a bit of snow last night, about a uh, good, like, good 5, 10 centimeters, at least like a foot of snow, I would say. So what we're going to do is we're going to go for a quick drive in, we're going to stay in residential because the plows haven't been out yet. So we're going to see exactly what FSD is capable of in the snow. So these are somewhat, there's no packed roads right now. So we are driving 14.2.2.2. I am aware that uh, 0.3 recently came out. It's really early testers right now. So only a few people have that. So it's not wide release. So the rest of you are still uh, mostly on current version, which is 12.2.2.2. Now I'm in chill mode right now and it is going, so you can see here like a bit of a slippage and I can hear the back wheels kind of slipping there. So we are off. So one of the big issues with the, for my last videos with the speed profiles, especially is the actual speed in which it was going for the snow conditions. It was a little hot, like, it was dialed back as to what the normal conditions would be or the normal speeds would be in normal roads. However, it was still just a little bit high, but relatively speaking, it was pretty good. So we are in chill mode right now and it is going really, really slow. As you can see, we have loose snow on the ground. So the car is really, I think, because it's sensing that there's not a lot of traction. So it's really going slow. So we're going 26 and a 50 right now. I can feel, I can feel the cautious approach in the car and the way it's driving. Yeah, really slow, really taking it really cautiously. So one thing to note is I'm going to change this to uh, curbside because I don't want to go to people's driveway because if they haven't uh, shoveled their driveway, it's not going to be fun. So we're going to just go curbside, then we're going to go from place to place just to maintain in these in these small residential areas. Like I said, the, the plows haven't been out yet, at least on these roads. So it's a good indication or a good show of what Tesla's doing with these snow-covered roads. Now, like, it's, it's going great. I'm going to go up to ch standard just to see if it's going to make a difference in terms of if it's going to pick up speed or not. And relatively not. Still going on 25. The speed limit did drop to 30. But again, we're going relatively a safe speed and appropriate speed. Uh, you just saw a speed bump there. Slow down a bit for it. So it is a snow day, so we got lots of kids walking around, as well as everyone out snow blowing their driveways. So we're going straight here. So I did notice that stop was a bit longer than usual, and I don't know if that's because of the guy snow blowing on the left, or just a little more cautious with this weather. So again, tight little space there, uh, moved over to the side for that parked car, and an oncoming car was really good. So we're going 35 and a 40, which it'll be a little quick for my liking. And we're making a turn here. So let's see what this road's like. So obviously this is not as a less busy uh less traveled road than the other one, but still, still snow packed, not full snow. When I woke up this morning, it was like there's plows had not been out and I should have went earlier, but it took me a while to get the clean, the car cleaned off. So we're just going to park over here. Well done and park. And we're just going to move on to our next destination. So 
So even though I'm standard, I'm still going the same speed as Chill was going. I do feel a bit, uh, like remember I said when I was driving on Chill, I felt the car really cautiously and uh, taking a really slow approach. I feel a little bit more, not, I guess it's hard to say speed because like relatively like speedometer wise, the speed's the same, but it just, the car just feels different in its approach. So I guess it would say like, almost like a little more confident and again, when I made that comment earlier, there was really a lot of loose snow on the ground. So the traction wasn't there. So it could be that, uh, cause right now it's more snow packed, a little more the car has a little more traction as opposed to the speed profile. So it's hard to tell. So we have a snow plow on the right and the car easily moves over navigates both cars. So it's definitely hard to kind of gauge on what the speed profiles are all about. And I think it's, I'm leaning more towards their driver profiles, like behavior profiles, as opposed to an actual speed offset. So again, the roads are kind of covered here, same kind of consistency. So this is a bit of a main road, but you can see, I can see there's a bit of more loose snow. So what I'm going to do is I keep it in standard and see if we get that same behavior from the road that we we're just on. So again, lots of loose traction here. I can feel the car, but I feel that confidence. I do feel it. The car is definitely more, a little more confident here, even though it's 30, we're going 30 and a 30, but I can feel the car a little more, not, I wouldn't say aggressive. That's really not the word I want to use, but like just more, more driving like it would be a normal road. So I'm going to bring it down to chill and see if I notice a difference. Not as much. Still feel, I still feel that confidence that where it was was standard. But I'm not, like, this is pretty, really appropriate for the road conditions. It's not driving out of, like, out of line here. So it's chugging along. So let's go down to... Oh, um, I need, they need to move this button because I hate, whenever I change the speed profiles, often I take off full self-driving. Uh, so I, I wish they didn't have that button here. You should be able to scroll up and down. So I was wanted to, yeah, we're in sloth right now. It didn't move to sloth. So yeah, we're going like cars handling well. Even in sloth mode, we're kind of like we're moving like we were in standard. So I, I'm not really seeing a difference there. So I'm not too sure if it's like what the car is sensing in terms of the traction that it feels a little more confident. So like whatever, like you can set the driver profile to whatever you want and the car will behave for what it thinks the conditions are supposed to be like. This is what it should do. Like you shouldn't be able to set it to Mad Max and it's gonna go Mad Max in these conditions. We're making a right turn here. A lot of people came out in the comments for the roundabout uh, question I had with, not question, but comment I had with signaling. And just back there, it turned on its right signal. It, probably around the same time, it would have turned it on if it were going straight. 
so that's the issue I have with roundabouts and signaling is that like if you turn your signal on, how the person how is the person gonna know whether you are turning that immediate first right or going straight because the, the car puts a signal on for that as well. So if you are a person entering the roundabout, you should be looking at the person's wheels and where the car is pointed to as opposed to the turn signal. Yes, I know it's law and you have to signal, but it's much more confusing if you're looking for a signal. Just look at the where the car is pointed. You can tell if the car is going straight or if the car is going to turn. Anyways. So we are at a red light. So what we're going to do is only five seconds here. So we're going to make another turn. So this is more of a, uh, obviously a busier road. It's been plowed and there's actually tired marks, tired tracks. However, the car did choose to drive over that giant snow pile. So definitely used to handling these types of roads. Uh, we're gonna go back into the residential. This road is much well packed, more packed than the previous ones. So the car is handling it at a much greater, so just faster, much more confidence. Like it handles the snow perfectly. There is a bit of a speed issue, but it's not unsafe. It's just, and even for that drive, there was no issue where like, oh, I was, a little, I was a little worried about how fast it was going. There was none of that. And, you know, throw the speed profiles out the window because they don't really matter. I think the car is just going to drive what's appropriate for the conditions, regardless of what speed profile you're going into. So that is good. And yeah, looking forward to doing some more. So like I said, this is uh, version 14.2.2.2. Uh, point three should be out soon for uh, us regular folk anyways. And uh, once I get it, I'll be doing some more videos. We'll be doing a loop to, you know, a loop consistently to see if we can, you know, try to decipher what these speed profiles are all about. Anyways, thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and check out my new uh, merch. I got new merch coming out. I've had t-shirts before, but this is a new line specifically for FSD. So check it out. Anyways, uh, again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. In the meantime, drive safe and drive electric.